just a tough loss overall, man. There's really nothing we can do about it. Yeah, man, these losses happen. Let's just get over it. But, man, I just can't help but think that the Stars really did blow this game. That's what she said. We're trying to be mature here, man. You've really set the bar low. Like the Dallas Stars after Christmas break? Okay, I see what you did there. Get out. Dude, you just gave that to me way too easily. Hello, guys. Welcome back to the SFR game 38, Stars vs. Wild. And the Stars lose. What do you know? 4-2 to the Minnesota Wild. The Stars lose it. The Stars downgraded to 2015-3. While the Wild improved to 1915-3, are in a right behind the Stars' backs. Basically creeping upon them. They are right behind them. Now, let me get this straight. Let me make it clear. Besides a couple of chances, just a few chances, I felt like the Stars really did not really didn't play that all that well today in this game. I felt like they were just kind of sluggish, really just slow. And after it was Christmas break, I cannot kind of understand it. Um, the first game for hockey since the Christmas break, and being sluggish, I can understand it, but you can't be sluggish throughout the whole game. I just felt like they were sluggish, and they were kind of slow throughout the whole game. They didn't really fix that part of their game. Um, they were never really fast off the rush. Um, they had a few chances where they were fast on the rush, but they weren't really fast as a team, and they weren't fast as a whole group, so I felt like the whole group as a whole really didn't wasn't all that fast, really wasn't all that great in this game. There wasn't too many chances, but the chances that they got, Stalock was really good, and Stalock was just fantastic in this game. He he did the job that he needed to do, um, and, and just by a couple of chances, a couple of goals by the stars that were really no no chance for him. I think mean, I felt that Stalock really did play well. Now the next game is against the Blues, so there's one of two things that will happen. The Blues are in a little bit of a landslide, a little bit of a slide as of late in the last couple of weeks. It kind of fell down a little bit in the standings. One of two things happens. One. The Stars take advantage of the Stars, or uh, of the Blues streak of this landslide for them, and this losing streak for them. The Stars take advantage of that, and they are one of the teams that jumps up and takes advantage of the Blues not doing great, the, great in the past couple of weeks. Or, two, the most likely reason, the most likely, uh, the most likely outcome, the Stars choke away, they choke the advantage away, and they let the Blues go on a winning streak after this win against the Stars, and they start getting it back together. I know which one it is, and I think you know which one will come true. Now, Lindell comes into the zone, he makes a great pass after there's a couple of chances in front, but Lindell makes a great pass on the power play, and then he passes it right to Sagan, who is right in front, and just finds a hole for the defenseman, who is right in front of him, and then Sipes on a basically empty net, Stalock doesn't get there quite fast enough, and then Sagan just has an empty net. He was fantastic today, I felt like Sagan was the Stars' best player in this game, um, he really was everywhere that he could be. The Stars really had a couple of players on the ice that really were good this tonight, but I felt like Sagan was one of them. Now Ennis comes on the zone, he shoots on Bishop, and then it goes kind of white back to him, and then Ennis shoots again. It was going to go wide, but then Spurgeon gets his stick on, in front, and then it gets kind of battened out uh, out of the air, and it, it goes in the net somehow. Somehow, some way, it finds a way in the net, but that's just unfortunate break by the Stars. It could have been stopped, but at the same time, I don't think that he, there's really any way that he could have stopped it. And who knows what would happen if the Stars were going up into first intermission 1-0 instead of tied. It would have been a would have been a complete momentum shifter in the game. Instead, it was tied, and I, that might have been the goal. That might have been the deal breaker for the Stars. That might have been the goal that momentum the, the Wild at least to make a push. And I think that certainly is what happened. I think that the Wild got loads of momentum from that goal, and they really did play fantastic after that. Suter with loads of room on the power play for the Stars. The power play for the Stars, Suter was on the penalty kill, he has loads of room, but Bishop somehow makes a stop, and then Hansel comes in and then just just saves it, just absolutely saves it. And that, that was like, it was great, it was like somehow saved by Bishop, but man, Suter had way too much room on that. Now Ennis and Coyle are on a 2-on-1 on a -on for the Stars, Patterson is the defender for the Dallas Stars coming off the rush. And then Coyle passes it to Ennis, and it goes off a of pattern, and what the heck are you doing, man? I know that was the best thing you could have done there. I know that you couldn't really have done much else, but it goes up pattern, and Bishop, like, Bishop, I would have liked to save there. I definitely would have liked to save there. It's 2-1, but not for long. Hang on, the power play winds up, and then makes a strategic um, shot that goes wide, and then right to Yanmark, who has an empty net, and then he once times it off of the boards, and then it goes, and then he's tied. Yanmark gets the goal. Basically a wide open net for him, but a good goal for him. 2-2, it's tied. That's a good marker. 
the momentum shifter. It wouldn't really be, but it was tied for a couple of minutes at least. The star took a power penalty. Devin Shore takes a penalty. His only third minor of the season. That's a pretty special thing, but the Wild do score on it. Um, Granlin was just wide open. Somehow wide open. The, it was a. It took a fa wonky bounce. Uh, I think it was, sh it was shot towards Bishop. Bishop. Then it took a wonky bounce, bounce off his pads. And then Granlin somehow corrals it. And then makes a great shot on that. Bishop can't make it. And the momentum shifter. 3-2 wild. And that would, choo that, would, um, that would prove to be the game winning goal. Now Spurgeon on the power play. And the, the period is about to end. The second period is about to end. He shoots and then scores on the wraparound. But... No goal. It was the time expired on the period. Thank goodness. Even though it doesn't come back to haunt them. Imagine if it did. Imagine if Spurgeon didn't get the shot across too, or too early, or too late, and then it came back to haunt him. But alas, that didn't really happen. Now Rajo slap shot. He corks it, but then Staylock just makes it look easy with the pad and the glove and the everything. Stop ruining my dreams. Cruz alone in front of the net and the slot and the everything, and he's just alone. Oh my gosh! And then Bishop just pokes him, just right out in the air. He can just Bishop just he has the confidence of any person in the world. Just pokes him out, just kind of bats his skate, and then gets a penalty, rightfully so. But he saved a goal. Let's be honest here. I was not really impressed by the Stars' defense. It, it, the Stars' defense was an interesting thing in this game. So. It felt like one minute they would be fantastic, one minute they would be, sh be shutting everything down at the wild even attempted to do. But then the next minute they would give up a like a semi breakaway, like a pass up through the ice, and they they just did nothing about it. And the stars, at some at most most of the time they just broke down and didn't do anything a lot about it. Like a lot of chance by the wild, a lot of fantastic chance by the wild, and the one the stars just didn't do a lot about it. And the defense crumbled at times. And it didn't it didn't make itself look good, but Zucker gets the empty net even though the Amark had a great chance on a on almost basically a semi breakaway, and then he missed the net for some reason. Of course he does, cause why not? But Zucker gets the goal, of the empty netter, and makes it four two, and the Stars would end up losing by that final four two. Um, what's the say? <sighs> Bad loss. You couldn't have lost to any worse team in the AHL. The team that is right behind you, literally right behind you in the standings, and then you don't win against them. That is just top as nails. You need to win these type of games, especially the one coming up against the Blues. You better win this. I'm, uh, you need to. You basically need to stay in the, in the race. You have to win against your central opponents and at least get points. They didn't do that. When they definitely had an opportunity to do, it's definitely ball-breaking. That's going to be it for today, guys. Guys, enjoy it. did enjoy. Make sure to like, guys. If you really did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.